It's Thursday, February 14th, 2013. I'm Ross Miller, and as long as I've got my suit and tie, this is 90 Seconds on the Verge. Tesla Motors CEO Elon Musk has taken issue with a negative New York Times report, and he's got some serious stats to back up his claim. In a lengthy blog post today, Musk released data logs from the Model S used by the Times, data that Musk claims shows the writer lied about his experience in an effort to portray the electric car in a negative light. The Times so far is standing by its report, Meanwhile, Musk also says Tesla does not record user data logs without written permission. Turns out Apple's latest iPhone update has a rather nasty vulnerability. A security flaw in iOS 6.1 lets anyone bypass your iPhone password lock and edit your contacts, check your voicemail, and look through your photos. Apple says it'll quote, deliver a fix in a future software update. At least your sexting and Snapchat messages are safe. Finally, it's a bird, it's a plane, it is Ender's Game author and vocal gay rights opponent Orson Scott Card. DC Comics is under fire this week after Card was selected as one of several guest writers for a new digital anthology, The Adventures of Superman. Card is on the board of directors of the National Organization for Marriage, a nonprofit that opposes same sex legislation and gay adoption. A DC spokesperson has defended his choice and notes that Card's personal views are not those of the company itself. Just remember, Superman serves and protects everyone, regardless of their beliefs. Also, he really likes blue tights. That's it for today's top stories. Coming up tomorrow, strange news from another Stark, the Iron Man musical.